Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts, where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today I have this adorable little box DIY for you with a bunny and some eggs. I think it's so cute for Easter. So I got this adorable little bunny from Dollar General, and then I have these box canvases from the Dollar Tree. Um, and then I'm just using my Country Roads scrapbook paper and I picked one that I thought looked good with the bunny because we're going to use this on the inside of our box. So I got this scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby for 50% off and it comes with a lot and you might want to check out their paper studio stuff because um, they have it on sale every other week so that's a good tip too to check for those sales at Hobby Lobby. You can get some really nice stuff for very cheap. Um, so I'm just tracing around the bottom of the box on the back of my scrapbook paper and then I'm cutting that out to fit in the box. I did have to trim my paper quite a bit until um, it fit down in there since it is a little bit smaller on the inside than the outside. And then I'm taking some Distress Ink and my stamps from Hobby Lobby and I am just writing Happy Easter. You can't see it very well and that's okay since this is a shabby chic project but I'm probably going to have to get some new ink soon. I really didn't um, line these up very well at all because I didn't really um, want it to look perfect. That's kind of the point of Shabby Chic. It looks kind of um, sort of thrown together and you can just put whatever you want and you just keep adding until it looks good to you. Um, so I just went ahead and used my stamps to write Happy Easter, but then um, I did just kind of, you know, make them kind of not messy, but not really lined up at all um, and then I had this heart stamp that my mom actually gave me and I have no idea where she got it but I just put um, that down at the bottom because I thought it would be cute you can see it a little better um, in person than you can on the video and I apologize for that I am working on the quality of my videos um, but next we have another piece of scrapbook paper that I picked. This one is so cute. It's like shabby chic fabric looking paper almost. I think it's so adorable. And I just used that piece of paper that I had already cut to, to trace around for the second piece. That way I didn't have to um, trim and trim until I got it into the bottom. And then I'm just taking some Waverly chalk paint and I'm painting these canvases. You're not really going to see this side that much, depending on where you put your DIY, but I just wanted those to um, look really neutral if you did see the back, so I painted that. And then I have um, some little eggs from Dollar Tree, and I'm also using my Waverly chalk paint to paint those eggs. I did end up painting all of them because I knew I wouldn't like the glitter eggs um, for any project I did, so I just went ahead and painted all my eggs at once. I only show you one on here because of course you don't want to see me painting a billion eggs. But I did go ahead and paint all of those and I used some of these eggs on my last video. So that's what, so this is what they look like, looked like originally. Um, but I just didn't need that glitter. I would have done a second coat but I didn't really have a lot of time. You could see a little bit of the color through um, but you don't really see that here on the video. Um, so I just went ahead and did the one coat for now. And then um, I do have Bree here with me today. She, she's jumping alongside of me like usual. Um, but I did not speed up the video this time because I didn't want anyone to get dizzy. Um, but she's just jamming along to some music. And then I am using some craft sticks that I got from Walmart in a pack. You can get um, popsicle sticks at the Dollar Tree as well, but I just get the big packs from Walmart. And the first one was actually called a skinny stick or something like that. And then I had the little mini ones too. And I am just hot gluing those on to make a little fence uh, for my box. I... I didn't know for sure what I wanted to do at first so I just left it plain but you could paint the fence too if you wanted to but I kind of liked the co the contrast that it gave um, with just the bare wood so I went ahead and left mine plain. Another thing you could do that I thought of afterward 
was cutting the tips of the little fence post to a point so it looks more like a picket fence. Um, and I'll probably show a bigger version of this on another project um, that I'm going to do because I really want to make a bigger fence like on a sign or something. So let me know what you think about that and if you want to see that. Of course you could measure this and make it perfect but it's so small I wasn't worried about it at all. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel and supporting me and for all your sweet comments. I love all the tips I get as well. Even for the video quality and what you guys want to see on my channel, I would love to hear um, what you would like to see me do next. So next I'm just hot gluing my next piece of scrap paper into what's going to be the bottom of the box. Let me know down in the comments what kind of projects you guys would like to see me do next. Now we're gluing our top piece of paper into the inside of the box as well. I'm cutting two pieces of ribbon to use to hold my boxes together, the lid and the bottom. This ribbon is from Walmart, but you can get something similar at Dollar Tree. I just get more on the roll at Walmart, so that's where I get it. And I think it's a little bit... A wider ribbon as well. I did really have to keep pushing on the ribbon and basically hold it down until it dried because it did keep trying to come up but once it was dry it did hold the box just fine. Next I'm taking this doily that I got from the Dollar Tree. They come in a two pack in the kitchen supplies um, and I've used this for other projects so the whole thing is not there but I am just cutting the piece that I want to go in the corner just to add a little more decorations to this box. Next I have these pink burlap flowers that I made in a previous video and I told you guys I would probably rip those off of that project because I didn't love how it turned out um, and I would probably use them for a new project and that's what I'm doing here. But if you want to see how I made those I'll link that video down below. Um, but I just went ahead and used three and just kind of positioned them in the corner how I wanted them and then I hot glued them down. And then I have my bunny from the Dollar General. He was only $1 and I think he's so cute. He's white and he's holding a little blue flower and I just think he is so adorable. And then I'm just taking some Spanish moss from the Dollar Tree. This stuff is so brittle and so dry. It's nothing like the fresh stuff you can like pull off the tree. I grew up in Florida and we have it had it everywhere. But I just pulled it apart and tried to make it look a little more fluffy. And then we're using those eggs that we painted. I used three and just kind of arranged them. I wanted the moss to look kind of like a nest. Um, so I just arranged them there next to the bunny. And then I'm taking some lace from Hobby Lobby. Um, a lot of people use really pretty ribbon from the Dollar Tree. But I just haven't found that one at mine. And I am just um, hot gluing that to the top for a little bit of extra decoration. I think this turned out so cute. If you guys liked it too, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more DIYs like this one. Every time you like, comment, and share my videos, it helps to um, get my videos out there more and helps my channel grow. So thank you so much for doing that. Also, I will do another giveaway when we get to 5,000 subscribers. I know it won't be long, so keep helping me share these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!